Today, we're taking a look at the new Barbie the Movie dolls. If you guys don't already know, Barbie the Movie, the live action, is coming out, and I'm pretty excited, to say the very least. So of course, Mattel came out with some Barbie dolls that replicate the actors and some of their looks from the movie. They actually came out with a whole bunch of stuff inspired from the movie, but these two dolls are the only thing I managed to get my hands on in time because everything sold out so fast. I really wanted that pink Corvette like really badly. <laughs> I also absolutely love the look of the Western dolls, so I'm kind of sad I didn't get my hands on those either. But today, we're just gonna take a look at the two I did manage to grab in time. So this is the Margot Robbie Barbie doll in the pink dress, and the box is pretty straightforward. And on the back, there is a picture of Margot Robbie, the actress for Barbie in the movie. And enough waiting around, let's get her out of this box. I always like to keep this packaging because you never know when this clear plastic is going to come in handy. Why is this packaging always so excessive? Okay, here she is, and for some reason, she is shedding a lot of hair. And this could definitely have been my fault for not so carefully cutting the strings around her hair. But, um, yeah, that's just lovely. Also, if she's kind of appearing orange on camera, I'm not really sure what that's about. Sometimes my camera likes to act up, so just try to ignore that. Hopefully that won't last the whole video because it's kind of bothering me. As for the doll, she is very pretty and I do like her face. I have seen some people complain that they don't like her face mold and that she doesn't look like Margot Robbie. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think she looks like Margot Robbie? I think I can definitely see the resemblance. It's not perfect, but I feel like they did a pretty good job. It could definitely be better, but I'm still not mad about it. What I am mad about though, is for some reason there's this shiny stuff on her face. I don't really know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely quite noticeable in person. It's all on her cheek and this side of her face here. So I might see if I can try to kind of fix that later or maybe just wipe it off. Okay, yeah, false alarm. It literally just wipes off like nothing. So that was, that was me overreacting. It's fine. I really do like her dress and it is very accurate to the photos that I've seen from the movie. It's kind of giving pink picnic tablecloth vibes and I'm here for it. Don't get me wrong. There's this little buckle on the front here and I really like the pleats as well on the bottom. She has a matching pink bow in her hair and she does come with pink shoes but they really don't like to stay on. As soon as you touch them even a little bit, they're gone. This might be like a weird thing to point out or even notice, but I really like how they made her nostrils. <laughs> actually, now that I'm looking at them, one looks bigger than the other. But my point here is that they actually like go inside her nose and make it look like an actual nose. You know what I mean? If you guys have seen any of my doll repaints, you'll know that I like to always darken the nostrils to just make it more realistic. But this doll just comes with like actual nostrils. Like, I don't know if that's weird to point out, but I really like it. <laughs> I won't lie, I'm not a huge fan of the jewelry. It's very plasticky and chunky. And it is accurate to this exact jewelry that she wears in the movie, but I just, I don't like the whole plasticky look of it. And I especially don't like when the earrings come on the doll, because if you take them out, then there's a huge gaping hole left in their ear. I prefer when I can just pierce them myself and then have a much smaller, much less noticeable hole there. But, oh well. And she does have the matching bracelet as well. I do really like her hair and I like how it's pulled back into that little bow there. I'm not sure how I feel about the bangs. They're very like flat cut, which is not super accurate to the actress in the movie. But I'm like wondering if I should try to fluff them up a bit or just leave them kind of like stiff like that. I don't know. Okay, and now let's open up the Ken doll. Here's the doll and his surfboard. I find that really fun that he came with a surfboard. I don't know why the Margot Robbie doll didn't come with anything special, but I do like that this was included with him. So this doll is supposed to look like Ryan Gosling, the actor for Ken in the new movie. And again, let me know what you guys think. Do we think the doll looks similar to the actor or not at all? I can definitely see the resemblance. It's not perfect, but like, again, I'm not mad at it. His hair is definitely very stiff with product. Like, just listen to this. That's not going anywhere. I am kind of tempted to brush it out and see what would happen, but that could cause chaos. So for now, I'm just gonna keep it in its very 
compacted stiff form i'm really liking his outfit here i love the collared shirt and i love the matching shorts and just the pattern of it all too i i really like it i also like that they included these little buttons on the front here too as for clothing i've noticed that they definitely <gasps> oh my gosh there's pockets. Oh, I was just about to say that I noticed that they've stepped up their game for the clothing on these dolls, but this just brought it to a whole another level. Let's see if these if these could actually work, if his arms... Oh. I don't know if it was supposed to bend that much. Okay, that is amazing. That is amazing. If you guys know Barbie clothes, they usually don't come with a bunch of details and especially not stuff like pockets. So this is very exciting. I'm also only realizing now that he literally had his hand tucked into his pocket in the packaging. And I guess I just didn't see that somehow. And he does also come with these very basic and simple white shoes, which I'm actually going to remove right now because I want to test out this whole surfboard situation. So I think his feet can just slide right into these thingies here why is that not working how it should work okay i think just like that and there he is on the surfboard i think that is pretty fun i feel like the surfboard is definitely pretty small to like how big a surfboard should be compared to the person but i'm not gonna complain too much i think it just looks really cool I'm really liking both of these dolls, but one of the first things I did notice about them is their articulation. I'm not mad about the articulation, but it could definitely be better. Unfortunately, I didn't get a made-to-move body for the Ken doll, but I did pick up one for the Margaret Robbie doll. And I'm actually only now realizing that this is not the best color match. This girl is definitely a bit darker. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So it looks like this redhead girl is getting sacrificed today because that is a perfect match. Sorry, Mia. I grabbed some boiling hot water. And because I don't wanna risk breaking any neck pegs today, I'm gonna put the doll's heads inside of a plastic bag and into the water. Oh wow, that almost just overflowed and went everywhere. And I'm gonna let that sit and soften up. And I take them out, and now we're gonna remove their heads. <laughs> that kind of messed up her bangs a little bit there. We're just gonna give those a quick little retrim. That one was a lot easier. <laughs> new head on new body. Okay, why do I actually randomly like this outfit a lot on her? <laughs> Plus, it's like not making her look as orange on camera. But for now, we're gonna put back on her original dress. And give her back her jewelry. Even if I'm not the biggest fan. And for whatever reason, the shoes fit much better on this doll's feet. And they actually stay in place. And I don't even know why, but something about made-to-move bodies just make me so happy. So I like this doll even more now. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these new Barbie the movie Barbie dolls and if you're going to consider purchasing them yourselves or any of the other stuff from this new collection. And do let me know if you think they look true to the actors that play in the movie. Personally, I think they did a pretty good job with the replication. Also, let me know if you guys want to see me make a Barbie the movie themed doll room or basically just a room that's very much the classic Barbie look. I feel like it'd be kind of fun. So comment below and let me know if you guys want to see that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD Squad. Love you all and see you all in the next one. Bye.